Hello, my name is Michael Stavrinidis and today we will be discussing how to create better thoughts and emotions. Now, our thoughts create our emotions and from these emotions we feel it in the body. So whatever our thoughts are focused on, we will feel it in the body. So if we are focusing on negative things, these will create negative thoughts and then we will feel negative emotions and then we'll feel stress in the body. So if we can create positive thoughts, positive thought patterns which will create positive emotions and then we will feel less stress and happier and at peace. The body will be well and healthy. Now, many people who come to me have lots of difficulties with this. They have negative thought patterns continuously. What I'm going to share with you today is a few techniques which are going to help you to create better thoughts, more positive thoughts, which then will create positive emotions and then where you will feel less stress and more at peace in the body and the mind and the spirit. So, how do we do this? We are limited by our five senses. These senses are sight, smell, touch, taste and hearing. I use the word limited because our spectrum of sight, that what we can actually see and perceive with our eyes is very limiting. The same with hearing, the same with taste, the same with touch and smell, it's very limiting. But we're gonna, not going to go too deep into this at the moment because it's more important about creating better thought patterns and emotions. So how can we use our five senses to the best advantage for ourselves in creating better thoughts and emotions? What we can do is we can surround ourselves with things that are meaningful to us, things that we love and give us that warmth and, and lovely feeling in our, in our body, in our thoughts. And what do I mean by this? Let me give you an example. We use the sense of sight. So surround yourselves and wear things which create a stimulation when you look at them, something that means something to you, something that you love. It, we're not talking about it costs a lot of money. We're talking about there is deeper meaning. It could have been passed down to you from a, um, a grandparent or a parent or someone you love. Um, have things around you in the, your house that stimulate a positive feeling. Let's say, for instance, when you go on holiday and you have a wonderful time, go to the beach or, or, or go somewhere and pick up something, like a little stone or rock, which will bring you back to that emotion. So when you see this again in your house, they will stir those wonderful emotions up for you. They'll take you back to the place where you were when you collected it, where you were having a, a happy, peaceful time. And now, with smell, you can do many things. You can uh, simulate this smell with beautiful aromas which make you feel warm and healthy and happy. Um, burning joysticks is a nice one. Having a diffuser and certain, <coughs> excuse me, certain aromatherapy oils, you know, which can stimulate the room and stimulate your sense. Now with touch. Touch, you can have things that you like, maybe a beautiful uh, material or things like, it doesn't have to cost a lot, always remember that, just makes you feel comfortable, nice and warmth. Some things which um, take us back to our childhood, the, the touch of a, a certain fabric reminds us of when we were, when we were being cared for by our grandparents or our parents. It just stimulates that thought in our mind. Now we go to taste. This is quite an interesting one actually. And this goes back to mindfulness. A lot of the things we actually eat 
and drink and so on. If we actually are really mindful of these things, we, we may not even like them that much, but we just eat them. Try to be mindful about what you eat. Not just for a healthy um, perspective, which is very important, of course, but to stimulate yourself, stimulate the senses, to create these positive emotions. Really think, next time you're eating something, Am I, do I really like this? Is it something that tastes good? You know, what's it stimulating in, in, inside your mouth and your senses? Now, one which is a hearing is very interesting. Play some stimulating music. You know, you don't have to have the telly... Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me again. You don't have to have the television on all the time. Sometimes play something that stimulates me, stimulates you, a, a, a song from the past. I was, uh, I used to make up collections of inspiring music, ones which took me back through the decades and each one made me smile and revisit these wonderful memories about um, the time when I first listened to it. Most couples, they have uh, songs which they say, this is, this is our song. So you're getting the idea. It takes your mind back to the time of that happy moment and it stimulates it. Now, one other thing about hearing and these other, these other um, senses, we all experience them inside the mind. It's like with hearing. We don't hear like we think we hear. Sound waves create electronic impulses and these electronic impulses create um, the brain to give us an example of what we're hearing. So this is what hearing is. It's, 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 an, it's an electronic impulse in the brain which creates the idea of what we're hearing. Th that's for another time. We'll go more in depth in this in another video. <coughs> Excuse me again. Now, one thing um, which I'd like to share with you, which I find very fascinating, and we go back to the hearing. This is just food for thought, you know, just, uh, just to um, help you think differently. You know, we're, we're always trying to um, create a different way of looking at things, you know, because once we start learning how to look at things in a different way, it becomes much more easier. Many of us have heard the expression, if a tree fell in the woods and there was no one there to hear it, would it make a sound? Now, after what we've just talked about, we need the, the, the sound waves go into our ear, then they go through other processes, but then at the end it creates an electronic impulse electrical impulse, which then ignites the brain and gives us the sense of hearing. Now, if there's nobody there, if there's no brain there to listen, to, the, to, to, to um, convert these sound waves, is there a sound? That's something to think about. Okay. Um, one last thing. There are five senses, as we've talked about. That's how we experience the world, in the physical. But there are other senses which we need to cultivate. And this takes us beyond the five limited senses. This is what we want to strive towards. This gives us truth and knowing. And basically, they are intuition and knowing, just a form of knowing. How do I know it's right? I don't know how I know, I just know it. And again, these we'll talk about in further videos that we make. Now, remember the examples that I explained about the five senses? We'll go over them again. It's sight, smell, touch, taste 
and hearing. So try this out when you get chance. You know, start surrounding yourself with selves with things that mean something to you. And, you know, just every now and again, just look at them and bring that emotion back into the body. Remember where, where it came from, who gave it to you, where you were at the time, and see how the body feels. These thoughts will create these emotions, and then you will feel it in the body. And we are making and creating positive thought patterns, which will lift your vibration and create a, a beautiful feeling of peace and comfort and happiness in the body and the mind and the spirit. So I hope this has helped you. You can follow us on Facebook, on YouTube. Just type in Natural Healing and Wellness Centre Paphos. You can also visit us at our website, the Natural Healing and Wellness Centre Paphos. All the information will be below. So any way you want to contact us, you're more than welcome. Thank you and bless, bless you all on your journey.